This is Twit. Uh, Shiba XG6, one terabyte NVMe SSD upgraded in 96 layer Bix flash. That's a whole lot of title for yeah, a stick full yeah. of memory. What's uh, yeah. So this is essentially OEM. So this would be sold by Toshiba to, say, Dell or HP or Apple or somebody that was looking to purchase NVMe drives for their desktops or laptops. Um, what's going on with 96-layer Bix Flash? So the idea here is, you know, you're just trying to cram more storage into a, a given uh, piece of space, right? A given piece of two-dimensional space. So 96-layer uh, is the next step in the push for that um mm -hmm. toshiba's been trying to get this stuff out for a while they were kind of it took them a while to get even really production bix going with even in the xg5 which is the you know predecessor to this model um but now that they've kind of got that ball rolling it looks like they're you know they're just marching right along uh pretty well actually if they're already transitioning to 96 layer so that you know uh Kind of gets you more bang for your storage buck uh, when it comes to trying to produce an SSD, you know, and have a given margin and actually try to make some profit off of it or try to, you know, sell it for, uh, you know, sell it at a lower cost. Um, this particular model is very similar to the XG5. XG5 was in a lot. Actually, you're looking at both of them there on the stream. Uh, XG5 versus XG6 looks like basically the same SSD. Um, the only difference there. To speak of is that there is just now 96 layer flash in there instead of the you know the previous 64 layer flash. Um, so uh, XG5 showed up in a lot of things, like it was in a bunch of Microsoft tablets. It's in. It, it, there's a good chance you probably have a Toshiba uh, OEM SSD in a laptop if you bought one in the past year or two. Um, they they really pushed their OEM side pretty hard. Um, and it's been it's been working out for them. They've been they've been moving a lot of product. Um, my uh, the thing that's uh, optimistic on my side for the XG6 is that not only did they upgrade to this you know more storage on a given die uh, flash memory, um, the performance of this product is actually pretty darn good um, when you put it in terms of comparing it to other retail SSDs that you might buy. Um, so really, uh, you know, as far as random performance uh, goes, it's it's up there. It's not quite to like your 970 Evo, which is typically like the chart topper for a NAND product. It's not up to that level, but it's definitely up with the rest of the pack. Um, if you if you scroll down a couple of charts and you go to that mixed test, um, you can see the progression in the top three entries on that chart, which is where you go from the Revo Drive 400, which was a, also a Toshiba product. OCZ got acquired by Toshiba, so uh, they're not called OCZ SSDs anymore. Now they're, they're all under the Toshiba brand. But you go RD400 to XG5 to XG6, it's almost a linear progression. So like every time they've gone to the next generation of their product, they've taken another step at, you know, faster on performance. Um, and that's been working out pretty well for them now to they're to the point where they're getting right up there with uh you know even beating other products that were retail upgrade products right um maybe not all of them but definitely doing pretty good you know even if you consider it in mm -hmm. the middle of the pack that's still pretty good for an oem ssd right like in the past you know the the stigma that you typically see with oem ssds is like oh what's that crappy ssd that you're going to get in this laptop right so um, it's nice to see the possibility, you know, of, uh, you combine Toshiba being very popular as an OEM part with now this newest model of the Toshiba OEM part is actually pretty dang competitive. So, um, you know, less to complain about, uh, in your, in your next laptop purchase, uh, basically. And that's now remember, it's still a dice roll. You don't know for sure which SSD you're going to get. Um, but you know, if if you give it a few months after the laptop launches, and you and you do some googling around, and you see if someone's done any kind of teardown on it, uh, if the teardown has you know something like an XG5 or an XG6 in there, chances are if you bought that same thing, it's probably going to come with that same part in there. Um, OEMs have been known to kind of bounce around OEM SSDs, like which you know which source they use, but uh, the ones that I've seen that have used Toshiba specifically tend to just have only Toshiba in whatever that thing is and they 
you know, there's not much reason to to move around because Toshiba seems pretty competitive on on their pricing to those uh, to those resellers. So, um, the other part of the reason I wanted to publish a review on this guy, even though it's not something that you can purchase, right? We usually try to review things you can actually buy, uh, is that um, the XG6 Toshiba has told me might very well end up also becoming a retail part. So hmm. uh, they'll they'll probably put some other name on it. It might not be called XG6, um, but basically that same product will. There's a good possibility of it coming uh, to the retail sector, um, which is also good, right? And Toshiba's uh, hasn't had a, a nice competitive part in a while now. Um, they they kind of had you know they've had their they've had their downs. Let's just put it that way. Um, there's there's been a lot of a lot of uh, prior SSDs out of them that either they came too late, you know, like they came a year or two, you know, the performance would have been great a year or two ago, but now it's you know superseded by everybody else, that sort of thing. So it's basically they're caught up now. Is the good news, um, uh, which is good news for everybody because you know just make things more competitive uh, overall. And hopefully it'll just up the bar in OEM SSDs in laptops in general because now if you see you know brand X and Y has these Toshiba parts in their laptops and their storage performance is great, you know hopefully all the other guys are going to get on board or at least be more critical on on which OEM parts they're choosing to put in their machines and just kind of raise the bar uh, storage performance wise for 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 everyone else hopefully. And just get that many more people off of EMMC uh, flash drives inside uh, laptops, which is just, you know, not great to put in a laptop. <laughs> not great. 